Hello, this is a Gesashi mangrove park on Okinawa, one of well-developed mangrove park in Japan, actually on Ryukyu Islands. This park is dominated with three species of mangroves, so namely Rizophora with very big prop roots and Brugiera with very interesting thick bark, plus also Candelia, which is copiously fruiting today. So all these three mangroves is a typical species set for the southern Japan. And I already spoke a lot about how they are generally important. I mean, they are protecting the seashores. They sequester plants of carbon dioxide and then they will be extremely useful in fighting the global warming. They also support the very unique ecosystems of this mixed water, brackish water places with crops, fishes, different invertebrates and everything else. But they also are useful in a very, well, common sense, useful for humanity. And first of all, I would emphasize the wood. As you understand, when mangroves are growing on the seashores and they're growing literally inside the water, they need some protection about rotting. So rotting is a big danger. So all mangroves are extremely astringent, rich of tannins. And this tannins is, for many years, is the main production from mangroves, both from Brugiera and from Rizophora. Candelia has very thin branches, so not so useful in that case. So Brugiera and especially Rizophora are used to take out of tannins which are used for many different things, typically organic stuff, which is in contact with water. So wood, clothes, especially fish nets, ropes, and everything which you want to well develop, and that will stay in the water for a long time. Rizophora itself, if you make from this prop roots or from these branches some kind of poles, this pole sometimes stays up to 10 years in salty water. It's almost the record while well, among all available woods. Wood itself, at least in Rizophora, is quite ornamental. It's heavy. Many mangrove wood will not float in the water at all. So poles, for example, are good, but not anything floating, but extremely ornamental. And interesting thing, it is so rich in these dry branches, which are always mixing with the living branches in mangrove forest, that you can easily well, gather it as a firewood. Firewood from mangroves is absolutely wonderful. It's sometimes comparable even with coal. And coal from firewood is even better than normal coal. So one of the best quality stuff if you want a fire. This is a firewood from mangroves. Mangroves are not edible in general sense. Of course, these astringent tannins will prevent things to be eaten. However, these famous viviparous young embryos are sometimes eaten, but they need a specific preparation because they're still astringent. But what is interesting, Candelia, as I said, is very copiously fruiting. In turn, this is very copiously flowering. And that was used at least sometimes in Vietnam to produce honey. So beehives were placed in the branches of Candelia in time of Candelia flowering and lots of honey is produced from that copiously flowering Candelia. So wood of mangroves, tannin of mangroves, sometimes edible part. What about medicine? Tannin is not frequently used for human application, but it is known that several tribes in Malaya use leaves of Rizophora as things which are boiled and then given at the childbirth. So probably these weak tannins will help young mothers after the childbirth. So again, this is even medicinal uses of many mangroves. So apart from general meaning for whole biodiversity on Earth, mangroves also useful in a very strict and practical sense. This is what I like to say today. Today is March 6, and this is again Gesashi Mangrove Park in Japan, in Okinawa. And today again is only beginning of March. Soon it will be much more life among mangrove forests. Thank you very much.